As aviation grew rapidly during the early part of the century, the need to communicate with the ever-increasing number of aeroplanes in the sky made it necessary to ensure that all aeroplanes could be uniquely identified, much like cars are identifiable by their registration number. Therefore, as early as 1919, at the Paris Convention, delegates decided that all aircraft were to be registered and that each aircraft was to display its registration mark. Annex 7 to the Chicago Convention covers this requirement in more detail and specifies the standards for registration and registration marks. Authorities may exempt an aircraft from registration in certain circumstances. Aircraft under test or historic aircraft, for example. The table here illustrates the different classifications of aircraft and is used to determine where nationality marks and registration marks are displayed on aircraft. Although it is not necessary to remember this table, it would be useful to gain an appreciation of the first few major classifications shown to the left-hand side of the table. When you have finished looking through this information, click the forward flashing arrow in the bottom right-hand side to continue. It was decided that the nationality and registration marks would consist of a group of characters, with the nationality mark followed by a hyphen if the first character of the registration mark is a letter, then followed by a 3 to 5 character registration mark. The nationality mark is selected from the series of nationality symbols included in the radio call signs allocated to the state of registry by the International Telecommunications Union. This code is notified to ICAO and may consist of letters, numbers or both. A common mark is a prefix to an aircraft's registration where the aircraft is operated by an international agency, not a country, like the Red Cross or United Nations. If this is the case, an establishing nation will assume the responsibility as the state of registry. This mark is assigned by the ICAO. A good example is the common mark 4YB, assigned to aircraft of the Arab Air Cargo, run by Jordan and Iraq. The state of Jordan assumes state of registry. Certain combinations of letters, numbers or marks may coincidentally correspond to other well-known aviation emergency coding. So to avoid any possible confusion, the following combinations of letters and symbols are not permitted. Combinations starting with the letter Q and five letter combinations used in the International Code of Signals are also not permitted. The Certificate of Registration is an official document certifying that the State of Registry has registered the aircraft. It will always detail the nationality or common mark, the registration mark, the manufacturer's designation of the aircraft, the serial number of the aircraft, the name and address of the owner, a certificate stating that the aircraft has been entered on the register of the state, the dated signature of the registering officer. The certificate is to be carried in the aircraft at all times. A nationality supplement to Annex 7 contains information regarding aircraft nationality marks notified to ICAO at Part B. These are listed alphabetically by state and by marks. Part A of the document registers the differences that have been notified to ICAO by contracting states. Each state is required to notify ICAO if differences exist, no differences exist, no information has been received. Notify differences are listed by state in the final part of the annex. States are also required to list these differences in their own Air Information Publication documents.
The nationality or registration marks are to be painted onto the aircraft or affixed by any means that ensures a similar degree of permanence. The marks shall be kept clean and visible at all times. The required markings are to appear on the lower surfaces of the wing, the fuselage between the wings and the tail, or on the upper half of the tail surface. As you can see, this aircraft has positioned its vertical tail marks incorrectly. The markings on the wings are to be at least 50 centimeters high, and on the fuselage and vertical surfaces, 30 centimeters high. This completes the lesson on aircraft registration markings. You should now understand why aircraft need to be registered, how aircraft are registered, and what the registration mark means, which registration marks are not suitable, and where the registration mark is to be displayed on aircraft.